I'm currently down to my last paper. I hope it is over soon. I'm studying at Gelang Mahdi School Secondary, and this year's actually my O levels. They are both in their final year of secondary school, but in the midst of dealing with critical exams, they are also making big bucks. I started with only one locker, and right now I have a total of seven lockers at different consignment shops. My average earnings on a good month it will be twenty to thirty k in the sneaker reselling earnings. In this episode, we follow two young entrepreneurs who are turning trends on the internet. People love watching slime and listen to the pops into a profitable business. A client paid nine hundred dollars for this shoe, and showing us what it takes to be young and boss. It's two days before 16-year-old Jia Sing sits for the O-level examinations. She needs to do well enough to make it into the cause and polytechnic of her choice. The O-levels is very stressful because I didn't really started studying really early, so I guess it's like a last-minute cram. But I'm working really hard right now. I hope it is over soon. <laughs> then I can continue with my business. Jia Sing is no ordinary teenager. When she's not mugging, she's doing this and making money out of it. This is her other persona, Boba Slime on Instagram. With more than twenty-nine thousand followers, this is where she markets and promotes her slime. I first started selling slimes about four years as of now. I'm earning about three to four k per month. The highest profit I've made a month was seven k. We are at one of the consignment shops, and this is actually Hako at Nex. So these are cubes or lockers where people actually place their products to sell. So here is mine. This is how these lockers work. You can buy a variety of products on display from different sellers who rent these lockers. For sellers like Jessing, it's a convenient and cost-efficient way to sell her slime while paying a small commission fee on sales. I started with only one locker, and right now I have a total of seven lockers at different consignment shops. I come here once a week to restock my locker. I actually make all these slimes myself from scratch, and they are all of different types of texture. Slime is basically a toy, a stress relieving toy. Actually, slime allows you to stretch it. You can do all sorts of things with it. You can mold it into shapes, and I guess that's why a lot of kids or even adults really love it. I got introduced to slime back in 2016, where I actually came across a YouTube video. Next recipe is one that we use all the time. Squishy Bunny and I use this a lot, and it's like our holy grail. I love this one. The YouTuber Karina Garcia actually made like a tutorial on how to make slime. It's so so glossy. It's like slimy, gooey, and really fun, right? So I actually went to a local bookstore and I purchased my very first slime. But I didn't had a really great time with it because it was all slippery, slimy, and just not so fun. So I decided to actually hop on the trend and create something of my own. And I decided to just take a couple of pictures and post it on Instagram, and surprisingly, a lot of people wanted it. Every week, I actually make ten different kinds of designs. So that my customers will have a variety of flavors to choose from. My most popular flavor will have to be cucumber melon. It's a very pale green color, and it's scented just like cucumber melon. 
Pipi's kiwi juice. This is actually scented just like kiwis. And we have a very special one. This is ice cream and waffles. So it also comes with a pack of strawberry and pink red sprinkles for you to top it off once you're done with your ice cream and waffles. Right beside me, there's actually this locker where there are two different sellers selling slime as well. So that's Believe and that's Coggy Slime X. We also have Whimsicle Slime X. And then we have also Petite Slimes. Everybody does slime differently. There's 20 of us sellers here. And the way I actually market my products are um, usually on Instagram stories. And I decided to film videos of me playing with the slime and introducing my new flavours. And surprisingly, actually a lot of people do view your Instagram stories. Before my O-levels, I didn't have much time to post or even promote my slimes on Instagram. So I'm actually feeling quite pressured and stressed with the declining of sales because all these years, I've put in a lot of effort from building up my business. So I really hope that my O-levels will end soon because then I can continue with my slime business, which I've stopped for about six months. In my opinion, sneakers actually give kids their identity. Seeing their favourite celebrities wear their sneakers, kids started to get on the trend. Taking advantage of Singapore's obsession with kicks is Remus. He is a 16-year-old who already owns his own business. He snags limited edition sneakers online and then flips them for profit. Sometimes for as much as a 300% profit margin. So on a good month, it'll be ranging from 20 to 30k in the sneaker reselling earnings. And how old are you again? 16 years old. So I have a wide variety of clients, ranging from as young as 12 years old, all the way to the age of 48 years old. Keymaster is actually one part of my business. For the other part, will be where I will buy and sell shoes on my website. Right now, we are at Exit Co, and I have one of my key master machines right here, and another one will be situated at Lucky Plaza East 8. Personally, I started off with playing this key master. So it's actually to make sure that the key goes into the hole accurately, where the key will actually turn the hole and drop the sneakers. This is a machine that's very, very popular among youth. What got me started was I actually went to a sneaker event with some of my friends in 2018. We actually checked out the key master machines. A key master machine is a probability machine where we actually have to put in $2 per play and try our luck to win the sneakers worth $500, $600, $700 or more. I've actually spent $1,000 throughout the course of two days camping at the machine. After winning five shoes, I managed to make $2.5K in the resale market. That was the start of the entire resale business. Before COVID, we are actually allowed to queue outside shops in Orchard whenever there's a sneaker release. But now, we actually have to be online acquiring our sneakers. When circuit breaker actually hits, my business has actually dropped. Now that phase two is currently happening, I actually hope to acquire more sneakers and then being able to transact more sales. So there's actually a lot of lost time that we actually need to make up for. Sneaker reseller Remus suffered a 30% loss of sales during the circuit breaker. He and his fellow resellers plan to recoup their losses at an upcoming online Nike limited edition sneaker release. We're going to go for the upcoming drop this Saturday. Are you going for it? Of course. I think everyone's going for this yeah. uh, shoe. What I think is that opening multiple tabs using bots is actually quite useful, especially accessing Nike back end, gathering their stock data. It looks like everything is low stock. Nike limited edition sneakers are among the world's most valuable and popular in the sneaker business. The more pairs Remus manages to cop, the bigger the profit. But he will be up against hundreds of other resellers in Singapore alone. How are you going to get the shoe? Nike SG is the 
uh, one of the sites that we can actually have a high chance to cop this one. Um, another thing is maybe using some bots. Maybe I use the TSB, some early links also. Well, I'm gonna try um, using Cyber. So what am I currently using to get these sneakers is actually bots. Bots are actually an automated software which will actually speed up your checkout process which allows you to get more shoes rather than using manual and typing it individually for your addresses and credit card info. We're actually fighting against bots run by other resellers. The stock count, I think I'm looking at about two to three pairs. I think that's quite decent. If you're lucky enough to get one pair, that's good, but of course, I'll try as much as I can. Uh. I think I'll be trying at least two. Yeah. May the luckiest Everyone. man wins. During the circuit breaker season, sales was almost at a standstill. Times are uncertain, but I'm hoping that sales will pick up eventually. I'm finally done with my last paper and today I actually have more time to shoot Insta stories for my Instagram account. I'm making a butter slime and it's part of my aromatherapy series called Stress Relief. So it's like a pastel lilac butter slime and it's scented like lavender and eucalyptus. I feel that people need something like this to relieve their stress after a long day of work or school. This is actually my own recipe that I've tweaked over the years. It took me a lot of tries, like over 10 over tries to get the perfect consistency. But as of now, I really like the recipe. The secret ingredients that I put into my slimes they do actually make the slime thicker, glossier, and it creates better pops and sizzles, but I'm definitely not sharing with you. videos of slimes are actually a very therapeutic way of looking visually on the slime as well as um, both the sounds of the slime. People tend to love watching them because they can mix up the volume, listen to the pops, and they do enjoy that. Jia Singh posts 10 slime videos a week. It's her way of marketing her wares to her 29,000 followers. This is where I actually interact with my customers. So I actually have a client and she's a mom of a girl with ADHD. She actually bought a few tubs for her and she told me that her girl actually calmed down a lot during car trips and whenever she wakes up. So I feel very glad when I heard about this because it makes me happy that slime is not just a toy and it helps somebody. So this is another reason why I do it. There are actually a lot of sacrifices I've made um, because of this slime business. It's a 24-hour job because when you get messages from your customers, you have to reply them as quickly as possible. Having to actually package the product takes a lot of time as well. I do miss the times where I've missed out on hanging out with my friends like a normal teenager. But I'm actually able to be my own boss at such a young age and it has actually been a dream of mine since young. So this is the Nike Air Force One 2020 Puerto Rico. It's a cancelled pair by Nike as they had actually printed the flag of the Puerto Rico on the wrong side of the tongue of the shoe. I got this shoe for $400 from a US-based sneaker marketplace called StockX. I've actually got a client for this. He had paid $900 for this shoe. My profit margin actually varies from sneakers to sneakers. The profit can be as low as 30% or even as high as 300%, depending on how limited the sneaker is. 
Usually each pair of shoes, I'll spend approximately two to five minutes ensuring that the shoe is legit, and then moving on, I'll actually start photographing the shoes and posting them on my website. My seven days a week is actually really jam-packed. Starting with school in the morning, and then tuition in the afternoon, and some revision, before having my dinner, and then moving on to whatever I need to complete for my business. Okay, as parents, I think I'm impressed by what he's doing. The concern, I think, probably will be, does he has enough time to cope with his study? I will say that he has been coping okay, but only the result will show if he's doing okay. When's the last time you had this? Very long ago. Well, I hardly get stressed out throughout this whole school and business balance and I actually find this more of a passion and more of a driving force to actually push me, to challenge myself. Today I'm actually launching my website. Since Circuit Breaker, nobody's actually visiting the consignment shops. Business has went down even after consignment shops are open, so I'll have to work on sales on my website. This is actually my first proper website. I knew nothing about creating a website, and it taught me to like explore more and to research on how to do it and to make it as easy for my customers. I'm hopeful that all these hard work will pay off because if sales doesn't pick up, I may have to close the business and I don't wish that to happen. The circuit breaker has cost Jiaxing an almost 50% drop in business. She has to sell at least 700 tubs of slime within 30 days if she hopes to recoup some losses. Today is the day of the Nike Limited Edition sneaker drop. Hundreds of sneaker resellers are competing to buy as many pairs of these sneakers as possible. Remus has his eye on at least two pairs. One is actually the SB Dunks Grateful Date in the yellow colorway. And then the next one is actually a basketball shoe by LeBron, LeBron 17 Graffiti. It's not that rare, but it is a popular design. So I have to actually prep all the board at least 30 minutes before. Once it's time, the task will automatically start and then it will actually help you check out the shoes and the rest is based on your luck. But things don't go according to plan. My whole Wi-Fi got clipped. My laptop also got clipped. The retailer's server has detected Remus's bot and has disconnected him from the website. He can no longer make any more purchases. So now what am I doing is actually changing from my Wi-Fi to using my own personal hotspot. Hopefully that works now, hopefully. I'm trying to connect to my internet. Come on, don't die. Remus has 15 minutes to get back into the game. Ah, now it works. That was one close call. Remus makes it just in time. The issue of the Wi-Fi and everything has been settled. So what we are doing right now is actually creating a backup source in case during drop time, there's an error occur, I still have a backup on my phone. Waiting for the drop right now. Oh, nice! Got it. Got it, not bad, not bad. For one. Not bad, not bad. 
What I've actually gotten is actually the LeBron 17 Graffiti, size 11, that should reach by the end of this month. So I paid $299 for it. The resale market looking at is about $330 to $340. The other pair, the Grateful Dead SB Dunks, the yellow colorway, it was a super limited release. Singapore had less than 50 pairs. I didn't manage to get any pair. I'm not surprised by it because the stocks are limited. So this is actually just lunch money, but other days, different drop, different stock amount. It's actually where we make the real money. Today, I'm actually packing the slimes that my customers have ordered for the past two weeks, and I've sold about 500 over slimes. Since I've launched my website, the response has been very overwhelming. Currently, all the slimes on my website is actually sold out. And now, what I have to do is just to post this out. I'm actually taking some time off to meet my friend. I haven't seen her for a long time because I was very busy with my slime business. Hence, it will be a reward for me. Because I'm a teenager still, so I do have my wants. And being able to afford it myself feels great. Being able to spend your own money feels good. Having run my own business, I'm most appreciative of being my own boss and that I'm financially free at this age. I feel great because not only am I able to treat my parents to a meal at times, I'm able to afford and bring my parents out for a short trip with the money that I've earned and I feel really satisfied with the results of it. The future of boba slime may not be forever, but I'll do it for as long as people still enjoy my slimes. So today, I'm actually selling 12 pairs of sneakers ranging from Jordans to Yeezys to two different customers. Hi, bro. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Do you want to check your pair first? This month, I've actually sold more than 60 pairs of sneakers. I mean, on a COVID situation month, I'll consider this month of business is actually booming. My future plans were actually to be opening up a shop in Orchard Road somewhat at the end of this year. Having a shop is not advisable at this current situation. So now I have to just wait and see. Do I feel like I was born to be a boss? I don't think so. But being given this opportunity, I consider myself very lucky to be able to come across such a business concept at such a young age.